hearty pizza. All cheesy. Look at that. Cheesy in the inside. Got that melted cheese. Got that cheddar cheese right there. Woohoo-wee. Nice little brown crust. Good morning, my beautiful YouTube fam. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. As you can see, guys, we got some breakfast ingredients going on here. It is early in the morning. You can see we got our coffee in the cut. So, y'all, um, you guys chose breakfast pizza. So, that's what we're going to do. Here's all the ingredients that I think that I'm going to use, y'all. So, we got some bacon. Now, I don't really know if I'm going to be using my bacon because it's going to be my first time using this little new pizza oven. And if it mess up this expensive bacon, I'm going to be tight. So, this is a maybe. Of course, you need eggs for breakfast. Of course, you need some salt and pepper. If you are new to my channel, I mix my salt and pepper together. So, you just won't think it's culture salt. It is black, coarse pepper, and culture salt. We got some... Um, half and half here that we are going to mix with our fake Velveeta cheese to make it nice and creamy for a sauce. I think I'm going to use this sauce as a base as well as sprinkle it on top because when I think of a breakfast pizza, mozzarella don't come to my brain. Like, I don't know about that. So, we're going to need pizza crust. I got some kielbasa sausage back here. I got some crumbled um Jimmy Dean sausages right here. I got a green uh, pepper. I got a white onion. I got some hash browns here, cubed up um, hash browns. And that is basically about it, you guys. So let me take you over here to this new little gadget that I got. This is called the pizza, no, excuse me, pizzazz, pizzazz, pizzazzos, pizzazz plus oven, right? So. You guys, this is probably new to me, old to y'all. New to me though, okay? Never used it before. So, y'all, it's just two pieces. This pizza um, plate joint right here, go right on here like this, and it just rotate and cook your pizza. It rotate and cook. So I'm a little suspect. I'm a little, I'm a little, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm not trying to use my bacon like that because I don't really know. Now I watched some YouTube videos and you know it came out good. So we go see. But y'all, what we about to do is prep all these beautiful ingredients for y'all and through the magic of the internet. When I come back, everything is going to be mise en place, nice and cooked. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna layer this breakfast. This pizza. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, my beautiful YouTube fam. Here is all of my cooked ingredients right here. I did go ahead and decide to make the bacon because what is breakfast without bacon? So I think I'm going to like add that last as a garnish. I don't even know. My pizza, my way. Let's have some fun. So we got our cooked bacon. We got the um, bell peppers and onions. We got the kielbasa sausage. We got the crumbled Jimmy Dane. We got the... Um, potatoes here everything was seasoned of course except for the bacon and the sausages um with salt and pepper because you know bacon is salty the salt this sausage has a lot of sodium here's our um, beautiful scrambled eggs and here is our cheese sauce that we are going to be using as a base so now you guys what i'm doing is fighting with this dough this regular store brought pillsbury pizza crust dough and i'm fighting with it because homeboy acting like it don't want to spread so i mean <sighs> let me work it out y'all i'll be back to show y'all me layering it okay you guys so i have my pizza dough all flattened out um right now I'm kind of debating you guys um, because I don't know if I want to par bake this dough first and then put it under this little pizza gadget um, or do I just want to go ahead and throw all of my um, cooked ingredients on it because I don't know like I said I never use this little piece pizzazz so I don't know if I'm gonna end up with 
you know what I'm saying like some some uh raw dough so I think what I'm gonna do y'all is just to be on the safe side power boil power boil shut up teach like get it for real power bake this crust and then I'll be back to show you guys um how we're gonna layer it okay be back y'all so wait a minute hold up okay y'all so uh, uh wait let me take a seat okay so y'all i told y'all i never used this nothing like this before y'all so why okay just watch this so look so this joint got a little rotate action going on and then it spins mad slow like it's cooking every piece and it was so hard to align the pan maybe i just don't have the pan aligned but at first it spent all the way around it was spinning see how it just moved like two inches it didn't even move two inches so long story short y'all look it it's cooking like that one it cook each piece of the pizza basically long story short y'all it's gonna take 25 decades for my pizza to get done and we ain't got time this a.m we hungry pizzazz what's your name is pizzazz uh what is pizzazz plus we good on you today now y'all when i got some patience and i ain't hungry maybe i'll come back to this but now look at this it's just cooking it in one i ain't even got time it's cooking it in like section by yo i thought this joint what the f y'all maybe i ain't got it lined up right but either way I go i ain't got the patience plan b we switching it to a oven stay tuned okay youtube fam i think we got it together so needless to say the pizza pizzazz the last cast is trash so an even better idea and smarter and i'm kind of glad it worked out this way um because everybody doesn't want every topping so we're gonna just do like um little personal pans you know what i'm saying we're gonna do smaller pans just like this so i already went ahead i got my little pan here um put some fresh dough down i par uh baked it a little bit so that so it won't be um raw you know what i'm saying when you take it out so basically let's get to layering so this particular pizza you guys is going to be the pizza for like the greedy people like me y'all want everything on it okay so we are now if you want to right now now remember 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 this is your home your family your pizza do you so this is how this is how i'm doing it so right now if you want to go ahead and put like some butter and just butter that crust up feel free i don't need that so now we are going to start with our base which is going to be this beautiful cheese sauce that we made and we're just gonna sprinkle some right here and just neatly or sloppy however you want do you look at that cheese sauce mm, 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 mm. look at that look at here look at here so I'm just gonna try to leave a little bit of, you know, crust out on the corners or whatever. So boom, so we got our cheese sauce down, right? I got this gonna be good. I can feel it in my heart. Okay, y'all, y'all peep that cheese sauce down. Next, let's layer some of these beautiful eggs. How it's just sinking. Look how it's just sinking right in the uh, cheese. A mm, little bit of eggs. A little bit of eggs. Okay, so you got your scrambled eggs. All right. Let's go over here. Maybe we prepped all of our stuff. Okay. Let's add some of this nice little seasoned home fries. I think breakfast is like my most favorite uh, meal of the day. Breakfast just be hitting, man. Let's go with some of these crumbled Jimmy Dean sausage. So 
So I kind of, yeah, I kind of happy that pizza uh, machine thing ain't work out like that. Because like I said, everybody don't want onion. Everybody don't want sausage. You know what I mean? So here's a little bit of this green pepper and onion. And you know, if you're using green pepper and onion, slice yours the way you want to slice them. Dice them the way you want to dice them. I want it nice, medium, thick slices for mine. Um, let's go ahead and add some of this uh, fried up kielbasa. Fry those up nice and good. Kielbasa sausage. Okay. Now, I'm debating. I'm, I know y'all like, dang, you stay debating with yourself. Because I'm like, do I want to add... Now, the pizza only go, go back into the... Uh, my little pizza oven for I would probably say until everything looks ooey gooey melted and delightful but I'm like do I want to add my bacon on there because I don't want my bacon burnt I cannot stand burnt bacon so what I think I'm gonna do is I don't think it should burn I think we nah I'm gonna add the bacon last y'all should I add it now I'm gonna add it now I'm gonna add it now it'll be good it'll be good I'm going to add it now. I'm just going to spray that. I'm going to spray. I'm just going to put that over here like it's pepperoni. Like it's pepperoni. You know what I mean? Just like that. Tucking it right on in. Tucking it right on in. Let's put a little bit more potato. Just a little bit more. Because this is a thick crust. So it can stand all these. Uh, it can stand all these toppings. That crust is pretty thick. And the crust is gonna act like your nice, uh, you know, buttery uh, toast. So there we go. Now, like I had told y'all before, I don't want no mozzarella on my breakfast pizza. I don't, I don't know about, I don't know about that one. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of this cheese sauce. Just a little razzle dazzle. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. There we go. And I am going to go in with some cheddar cheese. I'm going in with some sharp cheddar cheese because cheddar cheese goes with breakfast to me. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's your pizza. If you want to add mozzarella, shoot, if you want to add pizza sauce, do you. We ain't rocking like that today. So here we go. Let me get a little close up. Here we go, y'all. So now, we about to put this breakfast pizza in the oven. And let it do what it do. I would probably say about five minutes. Because, you know, everything is cooked. And then we already uh, power baked the crust. So let's see what it's hitting for when it come out, y'all. Stay tuned. Beautiful YouTube fam. Here is the finished result. Here it go. That's a nice hearty, hearty pizza. All cheesy. Look at that. Cheesy in the inside. Got that melted cheese. Got that cheddar cheese right there. Woo-hoo-wee. Nice little brown crust. I already went ahead and um, took my little pizza cut it here and cut it into fours it's so hot y'all I probably cannot get a piece up for y'all because I'm holding the camera with one hand oh but I want to look at that oh it's hot it's hot but y'all get the y'all get it y'all get it y'all get it oh y'all get it Woo, y'all I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit Pour me a nice cup of or glass of OJ. OJ. And get it in. But as always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Shout out to all my new subbies. I got some bangers coming for y'all. Sorry about the wait. You know, you got to deal with life. You got to deal with life sometimes. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to let me know what you guys want to see me cook next. Don't be shy. I don't bite. Love you guys. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. Mwah.